my lovers it's mj from ultra love happy to be here with you guys uh if you're regular you know i like to show up and connect with you guys share a bit of love and uh do the readings so the daily readings uh my intention with tarot is to offer this community divine guidance and love and clarity and of course it's a way to promote the work that i do online and the products that i sell via ultralove.com so so feel free to check that out there's the merchandise uh and the services including online yoga tarot and EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique. So feel free to check that out. Otherwise, I hope that this video finds you doing all right. I am aware that life is challenging and uh, we all trigger each other. <laughs> and um, yeah, the heart of humanity, I feel this depth of yearning and longing for deeper connection simultaneously just radically having to face ourselves and heal stuff and uh yeah i think we're all in this sort of karmic stew and at the same time endeavoring to hold and pull one another up certainly the people that we're in alignment with and the people who genuinely uh care and have compassion for themselves for one another um, and ultimately are doing that conscious reflective work and that requires us to be fully 100% responsible for our own bodies, our own nervous systems and to not be perpetually in these blame cycles where we're blaming other people um, for triggering us rather than honoring and looking at our, our triggers because it's really deep work and um, uh, typically my observation is that as a culture as a people and that old paradigm is very much blame and attack and uh yeah blaming other people for how we're feeling rather than looking at those triggers and being able to work with them to transform our own patterns so uh you know it's an evolutionary perspective versus a revolutionary perspective where we're just going round and round and round in circles and certainly at that point in my life where I can testify the profundity of, of upheaval, um, even quite painful heartbreak and um, deep cycles that we, um, I think, get to a point where it's like the only thing we can do is let go and walk away and, uh, you know, protect ourselves uh, if, if certain people in our lives are not going to be self-responsible. So let's just crack on and see what we get again divine guidance and love and clarity divine guidance and love and clarity if you've been resonating for a while uh that could be a prompt to book a private reading the cards i'm not a psychic i'm not i'm just an intuitive uh not to diminish that but i work intuitively with yoga eft and of course with the cards so it's uh, truly up to your intuition if you feel called uh, and if you have a sense of trust with the, the work I do in, in the world. Um, of course, if you're not in alignment or if you think it's witchcraft, it's probably not for you. <laughs> okay, so this is looking like a... Um, like the, your world has been flipped, turned upside down and you're slowly rebuilding. You're, you're rebuilding from an empress perspective. So you really are rebuilding your life from like, um, the highest perspective. There is an evolutionary leap. Although from an egoic standpoint, you might feel like, oh God, I'm having to, re I'm regressing or I'm having to go back or I'm coming at this rebuild from a loss. And yet deeper, the cards are saying, mm, it might look like that on some levels and it might even feel like that, but truly you're rising. You, or you have risen, you've risen to this empress and it's through this empress energy. Maybe for some of you, it's this idea of, um, honoring and or being in touch with your femininity you know like allowing yourself to feel and heal and that process that alchemical process that creative process from within yourself is really giving you the energy the impetus um and the grounded energy to move forward right with actionable steps 
although it's slow moving, it is grounded and uh, it's positive all in all. There's this uh, King of Pentacle in the reverse. This sort of feels like if somebody from your past is wanting to return, it might not be in your best interest to go there. Mm, yeah, there's a little bit of a mismatch in the energies. It's like you're really upstanding and in the upright and this counterpart position is not. Uh, so if you are dealing with an earth sign, king of pentacle, again, do what you like with the genders, but an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, it might be just to like hold your own, you know? It And yeah, I, I do. This person might be wanting to come back because you've got a decision to make. Um, but it's, it's like the decision of the Ten of Cups, the happily ever after. Hmm. Interesting. I, I get a read here that like both of you have gone through something quite profound around your worlds being turned upside down. The judgment is reigning supreme. It's like you can choose yourself or you can choose the illusion of the Ten of Cups with this King of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. There is a new beginning coming in for you after this, this loss and this probably integrating some shadow work around rejection, abandonment, feeling left out in the cold. Yeah, yeah. It's like firmly laying down the past. It's like letting go of the past battles um of course the losses the like rejections and then moving forward taking this new beginning um uh, it, i mean in this context certainly i would say you know definitely choose the new beginning and i mean that could be with someone new it could be with the same person but it's like a new energetic stamp of of how you're gonna want to move forward the judgment card is is positive the judgment card is definitely like singing your praises so whatever suits your self-worth and your autonomy um i would say go for it regardless like uh, these people around you um like are also in turbulent waters i want to say like um yeah, everyone's having to face themselves kind of thing. And uh, this King of Pentacle, it's like fully honoring your uniqueness and like knowing your worth. There's something here with Empress and this Queen of Pentacle in the upright. There's definitely something here about being upstanding, being in your integrity, knowing your worth, okay? And, and move forward steadily but in a grounded way. And I am hearing to exercise a bit of caution. And also this is another energy, like if you try to make it work with somebody you thought was a counterpart, King of Pentacles, but they're in the reverse and like you're, it's nothing's uh, like that 10 of cups just isn't coming off as in um, there's no, offer around like do you want to live together or do you want to make this work as a couple this is a judgment call so and again from a higher power as in if it's not happening it's probably not going to happen and it's not meant to happen hence where this ace of wands is like take the new beginning and for some of you it could be a creative project it could be just something to uh, maybe distract yourself from going back to this person because you definitely have a choice point coming up here, like possibly today kind of thing. Yeah, and I mean, there's the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is often connected to deception. And again, this King of Pentacles in the reverse. So um, I'm hearing really clearly like they're lying, like they're lying to you, especially again, when a, when a character is in the reverse, that tells me re regardless whether they're good, bad, right, wrong, whatever, um, they're not able to be clear. They're not able to, uh, so there's deception. There's things going on inside that they're not able to be honest about and that's gonna muffle with your energy, right? That's gonna uh, be distracting or be painful or something like this, right? 
don't worry you guys like no matter what you're going to be moving forward this chariot card is here you're going to be guided forward you're moving forward there's a steadiness here i would dare say as well like everything you've integrated everything you've let go of um yeah it's like letting go letting go of feeling left out in the cold letting go of the chaos of having your world turn upside down and just stepping forth into the new beginning is likely to be the prime time judgment call and just owning your power around your ability to create the world that you desire and trusting and knowing that those right people will come in at the right time that's kind of the, the to me the game like the intuitive game of it all is that you know relinquishing control relinquishing <sighs> yeah um that's that's it relinquishing control like dealing with ourselves healing ourselves right that's all we can do ultimately yeah it's like letting go of the fight I, I, and like, it, I, I would dare say in this dynamic, there's probably been fighting or um, somebody who's got some major anger issues <laughs> and you're just like, wowzers, I can't fix that or help that or whatever. And so the universe is like, well, here's this passionate new beginning. For some of you, because you're coming through as Empress and or a uh, Queen of Pentacle, um, the Knight of Pentacle, if there is an energy moving towards you, the Knight of Pentacle would be coming forward to make an offer. And the, the difference of character would be that they're a different age bracket than you. So they're likely, in this context, in this reading, they're likely to be younger than you. Hmm. And it could be that this King of Pentacle otherwise does have a tower moment or and or like they could be resisting a tower moment. Um, so like they're on the precipice of maybe a breakdown or just a pretty radical, hence where people talk about like rejection as protection or whatever, like fundamentally, like if people ghost us or if we're, um, if people can't communicate, there's a cowardice there. There's, and I, I know people project that onto me as well. And yet typically I'm consciously choosing as well you know and or with social media instantaneous we have to accept that um, and sometimes apologize for lack of communication but accept that you know we can't be always in touch all the time and yet we can we can get in touch and then apologize if you know there was feeling certain stuff but and again regarding um this this stuff is just like again if somebody is really having a hard time unable to cope unable to deal with stuff and just uh, projecting problems everywhere it's not the kind of stew that you want to be dancing in straight up as in like go frolic and be free that's the energy here you guys i'm gonna look for the mistus because i this is a new deck that i'm using Oh, it's the first card as well. I am the unknown. And there's a freedom here in this card for sure. And I'm really digging it for the context of this reading as far as, and suddenly you know it's time to start something new and trust the magic of beginnings. Yeah. Um, so the myth core was an innocent young maiden who often danced with abandonment in the flower field filled fields. One day she noticed an unusual flower and bent down to pick it up. Unbeknown to her, Gaia had created the flower to trick her. As once picked, it would initiate the ground to open up an entrance to the underworld. Cora didn't notice and carried on dancing towards the vast crevice. She met the edges of the upper and lower world and fell down into the abyss. The fall in time led her to a part of herself that she hadn't yet met. There is a great depth in such a fall. The mysteries at the September full moon, we're not in September, but Hala Shazam, many people travel to the city of Athens to prepare to take part in the great 
uh, Elysian mysteries. Those that came to be initiated were known as the mystai, meaning those who cannot see. The rituals would take place over 10 days, after which nothing would be the same again. The rites were performed annually for over 2,000 years and were constellated around the ancient myth of Demeter. Uh, Demeter? Demeter? I, I know that name, but I can't say it at the moment. And Persephone. Um, so this is like a soul growth um, progression. I'm sorry <laughs> if it's not what you want to hear, you guys. Um, but there is a real sense of claiming the unknown, moving forward. Um, yeah, it, I'm sure there's been pain and, and strife and heartache and difficult choices to make. And yet everything right here now that I'm looking at is really shining on this, like, turn your back on deception, turn your back on somebody who can't be honest, just go be wild and free and go meet those parts of yourself because they'll only make you feel more whole, more powerful, and more liberated. So I hope that was useful for you guys. Thank you all so much for being here. Again, check out the merchandise. Feel free to go buy some products at All to Love. Uh, get the book, book a reading, uh, and mostly just keep looking after yourself. Let's love. Take care. Peace out.